Good morning, everyone. I know I'm looking rough. I'm looking a hot mess because um, I'm on my way to go get my hair done. And yeah, I'm on my way to get my hair done. I stopped and got me some breakfast from Chick fil A. And now I'm waiting on them to bring my order out because I didn't want nothing from the breakfast menu. I ordered from their lunch menu. So that's what I'm waiting on. Yeah. I think this is my food. No, that ain't my food. So that's what I'm doing. Y'all, I don't know why I didn't pick up this camera Thursday or Friday. Thursday we went to Kohl's because I'm going to a Nike party and we went to Kohl's and I went and found me a cute little Nike outfit although I could have just wore the shirt the Nike shirts I had at home and a pair of jeans and some Nike shoes I wanted something different and then we went to yesterday both of my favorite people were in the same building I introduced them to each other for the first time and it feels so good when women can just get along and women can just vibe with each other and women can just have like real conversations with each other and there's no malice, there's no hate, there's no competition, there's no better than that person type of issues going on. So that felt so good. I got tipsy. I couldn't drive home because my stomach started hurting. I think it was the drinks. It wasn't food. I think it was the drinks. I probably should have had that second drink, but my stomach started hurting. Because we sat there two hours after we ate, just talking and vibing. And it was just good, flowing conversation all the way around. But um, now I'm on my way to go get my hair done by my other favorite person, Erica. And if you're in Houston, um, she has an Instagram. It's called Braids by Erica. She does do braids. She don't just do braids, though. That's why we're going to have to talk about this name. Because Erica's not just no one-trick pony, honey. She does pre press and curl. She does braids. She do uh, sew-ins. That, that, that baby is multi-talented, honey. So, we're going to have to do something. We're going we gonna to talk about that name. I don't know. Cause she do more than braids. She a beast of everything that she touch. Um, she finna start... Um, Making wigs, hopefully, real, real soon. And it's going to be my go-to girl, child. But, um, yeah. I am... Today is Saturday. And I feel really good. I woke up at 4 this morning. And I thought I was going to still be sleepy when I woke up this morning. But I'm not. I'm really ready to get this day started. And then just come home and do a little cleaning and straightening up. And then just chill out for the rest of the day. It's because there's really nothing to do. I have nothing planned today. All my plans is for tomorrow. So, but I said, let me turn this camera on. Because I did not turn this camera on Friday. I did not turn this camera on Thursday. That would have been some good footage. Now, y'all just get footage of me waiting on my food. Drinking this soda that I probably shouldn't have had this morning. Hold on. Have we made an order? Yes. For what? Um, yes. It was that four pounds of chicken sauce? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to take my food. They still put another stone here. That's why I'm going to set my food. Set my food up so I can drive. Because I'm going to eat and drive. Ain't no doubts about that. Now where I'm going to put this Chick-fil-A sauce. It's beyond me because I really don't have no space. But it's gonna go where it's gonna go. And these chicken strips gonna go right here. And I'm gonna act like I know. Okay, so we're gonna see how this works out. Okay. But yeah, um, I've been on a no meat, no meat diet um, starting last week. And this is my first time 
I don't lie. I had meat yesterday. Friday. But Monday through actually Sunday through Thursday, I didn't have any meat whatsoever. And it wasn't hard. I thought it would be hard. But it wasn't. Just because I found meals that kind of helped me. This week, I'm going to do meat. But I'm going to uh, practice portion control. Like, if I cook. I'm not going to go and get two plates full. I'm just going to get enough to curb my apple cider. And somebody told me to order those apple cider um, pills. So I'm thinking about doing that as well. So we shall see. But for right now, y'all. I'm finna focus on this driving so I can get to my destination and as soon as she finished my hair I will be back so okay y'all this is my hair I am loving it I feel so pretty I'm trying to wait till my car warm up I gotta pee so bad but I am so happy about my hair I think she did an amazing job, but she always do a good job on, on our hair. So this is gonna be my style for the next two months. I could just get up and go. I don't gotta worry about nothing. <sighs> and that color mixture is on point. I'm loving that color mixture. So, oh, it's cold out here, y'all. It is 49 degrees outside. And it look like it's been raining. Chill. Hopefully he finna move. I don't wanna go and he finna leave. Okay, well maybe he not finna go. And I can go on and go. Oh. And it took her, what time is it? It took her four and a half hours. But the hair is not tight. And it don't feel heavy. It got a little weight to it, but it's not heavy. And that's what I like about when she do my hair. My hair never figured my head don't never feel like it's being weighed down. And who better to give your money to than your friend that got her own business that's doing her own thing? Now I'll never ask my friends to compromise on their core on their prices. I don't never ask my friends for no discounts. The price they give me is the price they give me. And I leave it like that. You know, and that's another thing. If you gotta support your friend in their business, you don't try to get get it get it for the cheap cheap. That's to me, that's not a friend. I feel like you should respect their prices and how they choose to do run their business and do their business. So now I'm on my way home because I just don't get off work till 4 o'clock. So, oh my God. I hope you do like that. So, I'm finna finish driving because I got to pee like really, really bad. So, I need to focus on getting home as soon as possible. So, I'll see y'all in a few. Okay, y'all. So, I am at home. I have my little bonnet on. It helped kind of keep the tension off my hair from pulling because it's not tight but it is a little just a little little bit um but it'll loosen up in a couple of days so i'm not worried about that but now i'm finna probably um reorganize my planner and probably wash my face i haven't decided i feel like i need to get in here and do a deep clean on my face so I'll probably do that and 
Yeah, y'all see that discoloration right there? I don't know if that's another symptom of my sarcoids or what, but it's irritating me and I don't know how to make it better. So, yeah, that is what I'm about to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and clean my face, do a real deep cleanse on my face and um, chew. I don't know why he got this. See, my husband keeps water bottles up here because he drinks water when he's showering. Don't judge. And I guess he opened a new toothbrush. He got a toothbrush right there. So, yeah, I'm finna get ready to do that. And probably call it a night because I'm tired. Um, I do have church tomorrow also. My daughter, I mean, we have a day party to go to. And then I'm going to come back home and relax and get ready for my work week. So, I'm going to try to wash a load of clothes and stuff tomorrow. But, yeah, it's kind of heavy, but it's not that heavy. I know as the days go on, it'll loosen up. And I haven't had braids in a while, so it's going to take a little time for my hair to get used to it. But it ain't nothing I can't handle. So, I can I wash my face. And then I'm going to get ready for bed, child. Wash my face, set my planner up, jump in the shower, and get ready for church tomorrow that's what's on the agenda you'll see oh that's chicken y'all <laughs> i'm a fat girl y'all another thing i got to lose this weight i am big i'm getting bigger and bigger i have to lose this weight so um all this week i am gonna practice uh portion control and i'm gonna be drinking more water than anything portion control lots and lots of water and um yeah, I'm probably going to start not so much exercising, but I'm going to reincorporate my stretching in my daily uh, stuff because I need to start stretching my body out. So, all right, y'all. Um, I will definitely see you guys in the morning. I just didn't want to end this part of the vlog without telling y'all what was going on. But, yeah, I'm going to end this vlog for today, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.